Good morning, happy Monday. I got in about 8 p.m. last night and it's about 8 a.m. right now and I'm heading to school. So you can kind of imagine how I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm just so tired, but I'm also excited because now it's officially the start of the semester for me. So first I have my knit design class. It's digital knit design and that should be pretty cool. Full transparency. I have no idea what that class is actually about or what we're gonna be making, but yeah, I'm excited for it. So let's go. In this class, we're learning how to use a program called Kaleido to design knit patterns. We were each asked to develop two different concepts and color stories based on trend research, so I made two different Pinterest boards to help me collect all my thoughts and images. So my two concepts are essentially how two different demographics are approaching the idea of making their own clothes from scratch. My first board covers the young women's market. We're experimenting with unconventional forms and repurposed materials are resulting in super bold and maximalist knitwear pieces. My second board covers a slightly older demographic where crafters are developing an interest in researching and learning about traditional handiwork practices like indigo dyeing, shibori, visible mending, etc. I really like that these two boards come from the same trend but have really different energies and I'm excited to see where they take me. I also brought some hazelnut chocolates from Serbia to share with my class. Hello again, I just got done with my six hours of digital knit design class and I'm actually not nearly as tired and like jet lag messed up that I thought it would be, which is pretty great. I'm hoping I can like sleep through the night and I'm just on a normal sleep schedule. That would be the best case scenario. <laughs> Overall, I really enjoyed that class a lot more than I thought I would. I was a little bit nervous at first just because I knew we weren't like actually gonna knit and it was all gonna be on the computer. So I was worried that it like wouldn't be that fun, but I'm really excited about this project and I'm actually really excited to use this program because it's a lot more like simple and intuitive than our weaving program, which kind of thought it would be the same as that. So anyway, I'm pretty excited for this. I like my concepts for my projects. I kind of like nailed those down, got approval from the teacher. I'm gonna get a place. I'm not that behind. I'm not that tired. Let's hope I can keep this up for the rest of the week. Anyway, I'm heading home now and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I'm on my way to campus. Today I have a class that I'm actually really excited about and it's called Designing with Emerging Materials. And it's actually a textile slash science class, which as I've said before in my other videos, I actually have a background in science. My previous degree was in biology, marine biology. I used to work in aquariums and take care of animals and do medicine. So having the chance to actually like combine my interests at FIT is really exciting to me. So. Yeah, I'll show you as much as I can to this class and let's go. In class, we talked about how mushroom-based products can maybe one day serve as a replacement for unsustainable materials like plastic and styrofoam. Then we headed to the print lab where we learned about vacuum forming so we can make our own molds. Our homework is to bring in some molds to class so we can experiment and make our own mushroom-based products, which is so cool. Is such a cool experience and I'm honestly so excited about this project so now I just have to figure out what it is I want to make out of mushrooms I think I'm just gonna like go home and just dig through all my stuff and see what would have a cool shape and what I could possibly do I feel like the opportunities are endless and that's both exciting and a little bit overwhelming anyway I'm heading to the library I have to go find some inspiration for my other classes so yeah let's look through some books I didn't really know what I was looking for at the library, so I just wandered around and randomly picked up books that sounded interesting. I, of course, eventually found myself in the animal section and I found a book on alligators, which got me thinking. I used to work in an aquarium that had an albino alligator named Claude, and I thought maybe it'd be fun to make a print inspired by a white gator. Since FIT only had this one book on alligators, I decided to go to the New York Public Library's picture collection to find some more reference images, and my friend Nikki came along with me. Here in the picture collection, you can search basically anything by name and find a folder stuffed with images relating to that subject. It's kind of like an analog Google image search, which is wonderful because the internet can sometimes be totally overwhelming. So we each picked out folders relating to our subjects of interest and then combed through all the images one by one, separating out the ones we liked to bring with us to school for reference. I 
also found a folder from my hometown of Monterey, California, which got me thinking about a topic for my jacquard weaving class. Monterey is known in part for its aquarium and its beautiful kelp forest ecosystem, so I ended up collecting some photos of kelp. This is a topic that I've been wanting to explore at some point of my FIT journey, and I think this might be the perfect project for it. Hello again! It's the end of my very long but really nice day, and I have a big folder of photo inspiration that I'm going to take with me to class tomorrow to hopefully help me figure out what exactly it is I'm doing in my classes. It's getting late, I'm heading home, I got some mood boards to make, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow! Good morning, happy Wednesday! I'm heading to campus and my first class of the day is called Applied Surface Design for Home. And I'm pretty sure that's just going to be like an all-encompassing class that tackles a variety of home products, so that should be a lot of fun. And I spent pretty much all of last night working on a mood board for this class, and now I'm lugging my extremely heavy bag of paints to school, and yeah, hopefully it'll be a good day today. For this project, we need to design a coordinating tabletop textile set that includes a tablecloth, placemat, and napkin. I thought it might be fun to create a summertime novelty print that features some Claude-inspired white alligators swimming in a swamp filled with bold and colorful lily pads. I just really wanted to make something cheerful that features a more expressive and loose painting style, which is something a little bit out of my comfort zone, but might be fun to explore? Maybe? Hello, I just got out of that class and most of my time was just spent like working on my concept, kind of making really rough sketches in both my sketchbook and an illustrator and there really wasn't much to show just because it was a lot of loose nonsense just so I could figure out my concept. But yeah, I'm just not really too sure about that concept because I don't really know if it's too like odd, like if it would be marketable at all or if it's like interesting at all or if it's just kind of weird, you know? So <laughs> I have to keep working on it. I have to keep fleshing out the idea. I have to kind of see where it takes me and then decide if I want to continue down that path or not. The other thing that's just making me feel a little like hesitant about it is because it's just like another like water themed concept. Like I have like the alligators swimming and lily pads and water and it's very like in line with my interests and aesthetics, which is like a good thing. But I'm wondering if it's just like maybe not a good thing that I keep kind of going in that direction, especially because in this next class, in my jacquard weaving class, my mood board is again, just like water, ocean. And I don't know if I'm overdoing it or if it's the right thing to do because it's what I'm interested in. You know what I mean? So I have this like battle going on in my head where I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm coming into this week with some concepts and I don't know if I'm necessarily like attached to them yet. And I'm just gonna see how they change as I learn more about these classes and what we're actually doing. And as I continue to just like work on them and develop them. So yeah, hopefully I'll think of something that I'm happy with. Anyway, I'm on my lunch break. I'm just gonna use this time to figure some stuff out, just like I was saying, and yeah, also grab some food at some point. And then it's off to my jacquard weaving class. This class is the one that I'm definitely the most excited for this semester. We're combining our skills in print design and weaving to create super intricate woven fabrics using jacquard weaving technology. Our collections are gonna be created digitally, but we'll have the chance to send our main print to a mill to have it professionally woven, which is so exciting. Here's my mood board for my three design collection, which is inspired by my hometown of Monterey, California and its beautiful kelp forests. This is a topic that's super sentimental to me, so I wanted to save it for the perfect assignment. And because I'm so excited for this class, I thought this could be the right opportunity. We were also asked to bring in some thumbnail sketches and some brainstorming, and then we got started designing in our software called Texcel. Hello again, I just got out of that class and I really am so excited for this. This is actually one of the reasons that I came to FIT in the first place was the jacquard weaving. And I think it's gonna be a really good semester, which that's a good feeling. I was thinking a lot during that class about some of the like insecure feelings I was having that I talked to you about right before. And I kind of came to the realization that like, I wanna do things that make me happy. I wanna do things that are like what I see as my style and my aesthetic and my interests, because I think that that's like ultimately what I'm gonna be good at and have like, the most authentic perspective about. So I think I'm just gonna fully embrace the ocean themes and the water themes and just not feel guilty about it because it's not only gonna help me make like more authentic work, but I think it's also just gonna make for like a more fun semester when I actually like what I'm doing and I really like have my heart in it. So that's my opinion as of this moment. 
that could easily change. <laughs> but as of right now, I think I'm just gonna embrace the fish, embrace the kelp, embrace everything that I feel like is true to me and just see where it takes me. So yeah, that's my update on that. <laughs> Anyway, I am done for the day. I have a couple errands to run and then I'm just gonna head home, try my best to take it easy and get ready for tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Good morning, happy Thursday. As usual, I'm just heading to campus and today I have a class called Home Textile Applications, which I honestly don't really know anything about. Like I don't really know what it is we're doing or what we're learning about. All I know is that it's not a design class and it's still about textile. So let's go figure out what that is. <laughs> I ended up not filming in this class because it was a lecture and truthfully, I'm still not super sure exactly what this class is about yet, but I'm sure it's gonna become more clear as we continue on. Oh, also, okay, so yesterday when I was running errands, I had to go find something that I wanted to make a mold of that I could then make out of that mushroom material from my class on Tuesday. And I ended up finding a rubber duck, which as you can see, I cut in half. And now I'm gonna go to the print lab and get this vacuum formed. afternoon I had my applied surface design class again and I worked on my tablecloth design which is the main print of my tabletop collection. I started by drawing some really simple lily pad and lotus flower shapes and I assembled them into a full scale repeating pattern. I wanted this swamp to be really densely packed with lilies and because this is a tablecloth which covers a lot of surface area, this has to be a pretty big design so I was using a huge Photoshop file which unfortunately kept crashing my computer. Many, many hours of work later, I had the start of my layout complete. Now it just needs some swimming alligator friends, which I'll work on next week. I just finished with pretty much as much of this as I'm willing to work on tonight because it's getting pretty late and I have a long day tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Good morning, happy Friday. It's my last day of the week, which I'm really happy about. I'm definitely really tired, but somehow not as tired as I thought I might be at this point, which is a good thing. And I'm hoping I can keep that going throughout the rest of the day. So today I have my part two of my jacquard class. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna be working the whole time. So hopefully there'll be something interesting to show you. In class, I continued to work on the first design of my collection, which is a stripe made of intertwining kelp fronds. Unfortunately, none of the styluses were working on the school computers, so I had to use a mouse to draw everything, which was so tedious, but I got it done. Here's my two color design, and here's my five color design. Next week, these colors are gonna be replaced with woven structures, which is really gonna bring this whole thing to life. Hello again, I just finished up in that class. I stayed extra to do some more work, and now I'm finally done for the week, which feels so good. There honestly wasn't really much to show for that last class just because it was mostly computer work, but yeah, I'm actually kind of happy with how my project is turning out so far. And funny thing, so I forgot to mention that a part of this class was that our topic needed to be some kind of like socially relevant concept. So we had a, a whole list of things that we could pick from, like the environment, public health, social justice, etc. And that's one of the reasons why I picked that ocean theme. And it turns out that like, Literally everyone in the class is doing an ocean theme now, which I don't know whether to feel good or bad about that, but it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> anyway, that pretty much wraps up this two week period that was honestly pretty wild. And I wanted to thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you wanna stick around and see some more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.